I am a, sorry, my name is Emma. I am a senior at Lincoln High School. You know. And this piece is titled, Way to Go. Flashback 2009. All of the girls at a middle school lunch table are eating, but a little brown haired girl on the side isn't. She's too busy inputting her food intake onto her iPod. She's trying to drop five pounds. A middle school girl trying to lose weight, despite everyone just trying to convince her she is beautiful, she's not listening. Three years later, the same girl sits at her desk and debates whether or not she wants dinner. She already ate lunch today and doesn't want to push her calorie intake. She decides on eating, but only if she doesn't tomorrow. All around her are double zero girls with their perfect bodies, but all she can see is her stomach and how her thighs touch when she walks. It doesn't matter to her that she gets straight A's. She can bike 20 miles in under an hour that she has the strongest serve on her volleyball team. All that matters to her is being thin. The Western society, the best in the world, doesn't care what they're doing to our girls because 95% of those with eating disorders are 12 through 15 years old. And I don't blame them either, as this societal obsession with thinness has gone too far. When women care more about their weight than their education, when we hold our dress size in shame under lock and key, when we eat the minimum to be thin but not of concern, when we'd rather not eat for days if it meant dropping a few pounds. We make it sound like losing weight when you're thin is some badge of honor that we should proudly wear across our chests. But even if we have aesthetic approval from others, we never hear it from ourselves. Always thinking in our minds we're never good enough, our arms are too squishy, our stomach too big, always yearning for gaping holes between our thighs, but only ever feeling them in our stomachs. I'm not a middle schooler anymore. I may have a net of people waiting to catch me if I fall, but I won't let them help. I can't let them help. Too terrified of people knowing how bad it's really gotten. It's come to taking six diet pills a day to drop five pounds, drinking four cups of juice that make me feel jittery, dizzy, nauseous, eating three crackers just to keep from fainting, needing two reasons to put anything in my body, one of them just to prove I'm not starving myself. When all I hear when I say I've lost weight is, way to go, but all I think in my head is weight to go, as in how much weight I must discard from my frame to feel beautiful, they say, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels, it doesn't matter as long as you're thin, but it does matter that I'm intelligent, it does matter that I'm athletic, and it does matter that I should feel beautiful exactly the way I am. <laughs> Patiently waiting for a time when way to go is not in reference to some number on a scale. When we realize feeling beautiful is key, but being thin is not the lock. <laughs>